We're going to look at cash discounts at more the intermediate level where you can record these at gross and at net. Now these are following the old revenue recognition rules. New rules are changing and we will talk about that in class where you are going to have to record things at its net. But currently under the old rules you are allowed to choose either gross or net. So on the seller side you have sales discounts. On the buyer side you have purchase discounts. It's the same discount. On the seller side, it's instead of you're offering to your customer to pay their accounts receivable balance sooner. And on the buyer side, it's in incentives accepted to pay the outstanding payables balance sooner. So with purchase discounts, merchandise inventory, accounts payable. This is sold inventory. January 22nd, they paid within the discount period. And I'm disregarding cost of goods sold and merchandise inventory just for demonstration purposes only. We're just going to look at the revenue sides of the transaction. So don't worry about whether it's perpetual or a periodic inventory system. With a perpetual, of course, you use inventory. With a periodic system, you use the account purchases and purchase discounts. Gross versus net with perpetual. So if you're using the gross method, just as we showed it, you record the full amount of 500 and then when they paid within the discount, you record the reduction. For using the net method, you're assuming they will pay within the discount period, so you record the inventory at its net amount. And then if they do pay within the discount period, here are your entries for the gross method and the net method. Now if they did not pay within the discount period, that's the last row, under the net method, the $10 discount loss represents an interest expense for not paying it. Now, this is on the buyer side, of course. The gross discounts taken as opposed to the net method discount loss. So what is your focus as the accountant or even as management? If you're following the gross method, you want to track discounts taken. If you're following the net method, you want to track discounts lost. It's just a focus. What does management want to pay attention to? Periodic, it's going to be simply purchases instead of the inventory account. Purchase discounts is used using the gross. Purchase discounts isn't even used if you're using the net method, even if you're using the periodic system. If you're not paying within the discount period, it's classified as interest expense. So that cost is not actually going into your inventory and it's not ending up in cost of goods sold. It's going to end up elsewhere on your income statement. So the focus is, if you are a company that elects to use the gross method, you're, want, you're tracking discounts taken. If you're a company that chooses to, use, to record their accounting transactions using the net method, then they're focusing on tracking discounts lost. So sales versus purchases, purchase discounts using the net method, if we look at the difference, on the seller side, that discount lost will represent interest revenue. On the buyer side, it will represent interest expense.